Hello, I'm Suzanne Shem from Zoll Medical, and this is the AED Plus, an AED that works all of the time in every rescue. But don't most AEDs work all the time? Actually, most don't. At best, they only work about half the time. Does that mean that half the time when you push the shock button on another AED, it won't deliver a shock? No. Other AEDs can shock just fine, but many people don't know this. Research shows that when an AED is attached to a victim of sudden cardiac arrest, it will advise a shock only half the time. Once your AED says no shock advised, only CPR can save the victim. At that point, you have to ask, will my AED help me do CPR? If you're not using this AED, the AED Plus, it won't help much at all. Now let me show you what the AED Plus can do for you in a rescue. Here we have the circle of icons. When I turn the AED Plus on, it will step through each of these rescue steps, which are part of the AHA's complete chain of survival, and should be done prior to attaching electrodes and analyzing the heart. Other AEDs don't support the complete chain of survival. Instead, they focus on attaching pads and shocking. And they ignore the things that should be done in a rescue prior to shocking. These are CPRD pads. Again, quite different from the two pads found on other AEDs. They are designed for fast, accurate electrode placement. The little cross is a placement landmark. Put it in the middle of the chest, directly between the victim's nipples, and the two electrode pads will fall into place naturally. Pull on this tab to uncover the gel on the electrode pad and allow it to make solid contact with the victim's skin. Pull on this tab to attach the other electrode pad. Once pads are attached, CPR can now be done by putting your hands on the little cross and doing chest compressions. Now I'll act out a rescue and let you see what the AED Plus does during CPR. I'm going to attach these demo pads to this mannequin and then plug in the simulator to present a heart rhythm to the AED Plus. Notice how the AED Plus takes me through the AHA's complete chain of survival and how it supports my CPR with real CPR help. Unit okay. Are you okay? Stay calm. Check responsiveness. Call for help. Call 911. Open airway. Check breathing. Give two breaths. Attach defib pads to patient's bare chest. I will set the simulator to present a systole, an unshockable rhythm. When I plug it in, the AED Plus recognizes the presence of a heart rhythm and begins to analyze it. Don't touch patient. Analyzing. Don't touch patient. Analyzing. No shock advised. Start CPR. Now, half of all rescues with an AED start with no shock advised. Perform good CPR with chest compressions that are one and a half to two inches deep at a rate of 100 per minute. And the next analysis may tell you to deliver a shock. Start CPR. If I don't start CPR now, the AED Plus will see this and repeat the prompt to start CPR. With real CPR help, it can see that I've not yet begun chest compressions. When I do start, it will see my compressions and will help me do good CPR in a way that no other AED can. Start CPR. Notice the bar gauge on the display as I start CPR. Push harder. I'm not pushing hard enough. 
The beeps act as an adaptive metronome that sees my compressions and tries to speed them up. Now I'll do compressions that are deep enough. Good compressions. When I stop the compressions to give two breaths, the metronome stops. Now when I start back up, the beeps begin again and are synchronized to my compressions. And again, speed me up to the 100 compressions recommended by the AHA. The two little lines represent one and a half inches to two inches deep. When you do good compressions, the bar should stop somewhere in between the two lines. Now, if I stop CPR before the AED Plus tells me to, real CPR help continues watching for my compressions. And after 15 seconds with no compressions, it will prompt me. So when it's time to do CPR, the AED Plus can see my compressions. It can tell me to push harder when my compressions aren't deep enough. It can tell me when I'm doing good compressions and I can see the effectiveness of each compression by watching the real-time feedback of the bar gauge. Now I want to act out a second rescue. Imagine this time that we are performing a team rescue involving several trained people. Other rescuers have checked responsiveness and have called 911. Now the airway is open and others have checked breathing and given two breaths. Now I arrive with the AED Plus. I want to attach pads and deliver a shock and or start CPR as quickly as possible. What I want you to see is that the AED Plus can jump to analysis. As soon as it detects that the pads are attached, it stops prompting for the complete chain of survival and begins immediately to analyze the heart. I'll set the simulator to present ventricular fibrillation, a shockable rhythm. Pay particular attention to how long it takes me to deliver the shock once I turn the AED Plus on. This is easy to measure because the display screen shows exactly how many seconds have passed since the on-off button was pushed. So, let's go. Unit OK, adult pads. I present the heart rhythm. Don't touch patient, analyzing. Notice the jump to analysis and how long it takes to deliver the shock. So I delivered a shock 25 seconds after turning on the AED+. It adapts to the rescue situation and does not waste time prompting you for the complete chain of survival if you attach electrode pads quickly. You've seen what it means to use an AED that works in every rescue. It can deliver a shock like any other AED in just 25 seconds. But when it's time to do CPR, and half of all rescues start with CPR, it can provide real CPR help. It can see what you're doing, and it can help you get the rate and depth of your compressions right. Now let me point out a few more important features of the AED+. The CPR D-pads have a special design that allows them to last for five years without needing replacement. And here are the 10 lithium batteries that power this AED. They last five years without replacement. That means when you've installed the AED Plus, there is nothing to buy or replace for the next five years. The AED Plus has the lowest total cost of ownership once it's installed. No other AED can say that. As you can see, purchasing the AED Plus gives you CPR with real CPR help. It supports the AHA's complete chain of survival, and it has the lowest total cost of ownership once it's installed. It works in every rescue, not just half the time when a shock's advised. Your rescuers deserve all the support they can get in every rescue. And that's why they need the AED+.